So I'm Hannah, I'm from South Western Ambulance Service. I work here as a clinical audit officer. We were approached by the Dorset Clinical Commissioning Group um, to be involved in discussions around whether we could reduce services in the area to a single trauma unit. And at the time I'd been recently attending some training courses with Penn Clark and Penn Cord um, around operational research and building models. And I was able to apply the lessons that I'd learnt within those sessions to this piece of work and build a model that could test out different scenarios and have a look at the impact on patient journey times and neighbouring hospital admission rates. So the great thing about modelling for us is that we can test lots of different scenarios without actually affecting patients and we're able to see unexpected consequences that you wouldn't necessarily see from plotting graphs from a normal data set. For this project it was really helpful in terms of informing that decision that was the best decision for the patients. Across the NHS and particularly across our operating area there's a constant drive from NHS providers and commissioners especially to continually review their services. The evidence that we were able to present to the CCG was really clear, really simple to understand, very easy to explain. It showed us what our ambulances have been doing over the last two years, what our ambulances may well be doing if that service wasn't available in one area, um, the unintended consequence of where our ambulances may end up that we hadn't even thought of. And with that, we could make an evidence-based decision rather than a best guess. Having experienced the simplicity and power, I would strongly urge anyone to use operational modelling. It's simple, it's really easy to understand, easy to explain, and it's based on evidence.